ins Haus. Maschinengewehr nach oben. Nehmt Stellung an den Fenstern. Bleibt euch. Nach oben. Panzerpause drüben hin. They hold up in that house by the bridge. The tank will blast through, all right. Got the tank. They got themselves a Panzerfaust. New anti-tank weapon. We can't take that house without a tank, Lieutenant. We have to. Why? We were told to. Those men in that tank don't have a chance. It's all a matter of direction. You stick your neck into a lion's mouth and you come up shy ahead. Me, I'm a southbound fell in a northbound world. Take that house and control the bridge. It's gonna be with an artillery piece. Can we get one from battalion? No time. That bridge has to be secured by 1900 hours. That's 55 minutes from now. Now, since when do we have to start winning this war on schedule? And what's so important about that bridge anyway? I don't know, Sergeant. It was an order. Now, second and third squad are in a jam of their own north of town. I'll try to get back as soon as I can. And in the meantime, we take the bridge. We take the bridge. <laughs> I've been away from home for two years now, and my old man's asking me about real estate. Well, what do I know about property values? Tell him to put his money in topsoil. That's a thing. You don't buy the land, you buy the topsoil. Then you haul it into the city, you sell it for a dollar a yard. That's a stupid way to do business. What if one yard's bigger than the next one? Well, you use more dirt. But it's still a dollar a yard. Dollar a yard. <laughs> Boy, would I love to do business with you. <laughs> and back home, we got a victory garden, see? I mean, a big one. Oh, you wear out that truck of yours trying to fill it. I think you guys are talking about two different kinds of yards. <laughs> I think we are. Kirby, a yard of dirt is a yard high, a yard long, and a yard wide. For that, you charge a buck, huh? That's if you sift out the worms. We're taking the bridge. Uh, I hear the melody, but, uh... 
I don't believe the lyrics. You gotta be kidding, Maestro. Yeah, I'm kidding. We take the house first. Uh, Sergeant, I've never been accused of being a brilliant military tactician, but even I can see there ain't no odds in this. I don't care for your opinion, Heller. I ain't through. You're asking for my skin. I don't want your skin. Krauts want it. There's a house across from the church. Let's go. He told me if I walked into the church, it'd fall down. There's too much open ground. We'll flank him. Left side of that small house. Nelson, you and Shrub, you double back up the alley. We'll give you a cover fire and you try to spin across to that house. Yeah, okay. Once you get there, just set up. You help draw the fire. We'll hit him from the other side of the bridge. Okay. Well, how are you gonna get there? What are you gonna do, call a truce while you walk over? Kirby, I'm gonna say this once. I'm gonna say it to all of you. Keep your mouth shut, your heads down, and your ears open. You'll follow my orders and don't ask why. Is that clear? Sarge, you like jazz? Life in the times, you know. You get the beat, but you bend a little with the melody. Keeps things from getting dull. Keeps you, keeps you from taking things serious. Life in the times. Gotta learn to bend a little, Sarge, you know. Hello, you get down out that window with your rifle. and Shrope. Move out. Don't fight till I do.
Crouch were in that house. You almost made it, Nelson. Why'd you turn back? They were in there. They were waiting for us. Didn't you see what happened to Shrope? Yeah, I saw him. For what? He dodged for nothing. You panicked. I almost got killed. You were closer to that house than you were coming back here. I told you to take that house. Sarge, did you know they were in here? How do I know where the crowds are? They can be anywhere, any place, any time. They don't give me notice. We were covering you. You could have pinned yourself to the wall and tossed in a grenade. All right, round one is over. Shrope is dead and we're right back where we started. until you get it right. Experience counts. You're very experienced with that little house. Okay, Johnson. A guy like Johnson, what would happen if he could have? It's my worry. Well, my neck's involved. That makes it mine, too. The only worry is that you don't cut out. <laughs> I'd make for the woods right now if I thought I'd get away with it. You wouldn't get away with it. Good to see such courage in the ranks. Courage is for soldiers. When I get back to my drums, I'm going to need two legs, two arms, one head. All stuck together. John, Cole, cover the big house. The rest of you cover the little one. Billy, don't say anything. I don't want to hear anything out of you. Just keep your mouth shut and do what you're supposed to do. Johnson. 
around, so is ours. Lieutenant, you, Holler, and I will cross the river, move in from the other side by the bridge. Okay. The rest of you keep them busy. Uh, Sarge, I, um, I, uh, I better tell you I can't swim. It's funny, you only told me how to swim. Well, they, uh, they, uh, trying to teach me. I guess the bad fairy stole my water wings. Scott, can you swim? I'd rather roller skate, but I guess I can get across that river. Okay, let's go. Hey, Scott, you really take the worms out of that topsoil? Sure, that way you don't get robbing staring up your lawn. But wait a minute. How do you get them out? They drive real fast down a rough road. Pretty soon they get car sick and jump off the truck. Tape them down in a cluster, like a bomb. Sarge, how do we approach the house? You'll see. Well, what do we do when we get there? You're not even sure yourself, are you? Probably hold up there until we rush him again. Come on, Sarge told us to keep firing. What's the fire at? It's a standoff. They're not coming out, we're not going in. Maybe we'll be sitting here the rest of the war. You don't care much about this war one way or the other, do you? No, or anybody in it. Last six months I've been sending all my pay home. My kid brother just put a down payment on a $1,200 set of drums. Traps, hi hat, the works. Yeah. Applied for transfer to a band. I'm gonna sit out the rest of this war with one of them, you know, service bands. The rest of you mouth breeders can follow your sides until your legs drop off. Look, Kelly, you use your rifle on those crops, or I'm gonna turn mine on you. Now come on!
to the base of that bridge without being spotted. Crawl across the bridge? That depends on the angle from above. We stay as close to the side wall as we can. If they spot us out that side window, they'll be on us like a rooster after a June bug. They'll be watching the church. I'll get across the bridge, we're pulling as close to the house as we can. Then what? When I rush them, when they fall back. I'll make that decision when the time comes. Let's get on with it. Toss my grenades in the upper right window. Little John, you take the upper left. Scott, take the lower corner.
He's through for the day, Sarge. I better get him back to the hospital right now. All right, take him back. And give me some TNT. I don't care what you do, but get it for me. Sarge. S Scott. S Scott. Hey, you just forget about that. Just forget it. Let's go. Come on. TNT. I haven't decided yet. Is that all right with you, Heller? Well, look, Sarge, you can blow yourself to little pieces for all I care. Only don't kind of take me with you, huh? Besides, now, I know you don't like this mess any more than we do, but we've had it. A rope's dead. Scott's blown to bits. Little John's had it, and my arm's about to fall off. Just tell him to go to the devil, will you? What do you want me to tell Kirby? You want me to tell the Krauts? You want me to tell the President of the United States? Nobody cares. Nobody cares, and you want to know why? Because they haven't got time. Because everybody's fighting his, his own little slice of the war. And this is our little slice. A stinking bridge and a lousy river in a place we never heard of before, huh? Well, I don't see any reason for it. Well, then you better open your eyes and look around. You may die here today, Ella. And if you don't know why, if you can't come up with a reason, then you're... Your whole life's been one big nothing. him up and maybe in a week or two he can go out and try it again. Maybe this time he'll take one clean and easy. No pain, just first he's here and then he isn't. This halfway stuff kind of slows down the war effort. All right, now take it easy. Shrope was lucky. Poor devil ran out and got his real quick. Well, at least he doesn't need any more explanations. Shrope. Anybody else? Scott. I killed Scott, Lieutenant. I, I killed him, but then I crawled over him. I crawled over him. Little John Saunders and Scott tried to blast the crowds out with their grenades. They were working from the bridge. Little John tripped. He couldn't help it. It was my fault. It was stupid, clumsy. A crowd was shooting at you. You couldn't help what happened. You're bleeding. I don't care. I killed him, Lieutenant. I killed him. Now you listen to me, little John. You didn't kill Scott. The Krauts did. The Krauts killed Scott. Not you. Now, where do you think you're going? I want a rifle. You what? I want to get in this shooting war. I want a rifle. 
Now, I have had it up to here with bandages and aspirin. I want a rifle. Now, you know that's impossible. Why? Because of the rules. I don't shoot anybody. Nobody shoots me. We're so civilized, we even got rules to kill each other by. Boy, that's what I call organization. Well, don't knock it. Organization got us this far all the way from Normandy. Now, he does his job, I do mine, and you do yours. That's fine, Lieutenant. But I'm beginning to think I'm going to be all by myself when this thing's over. Now, the killing is getting way ahead of the fixing. All right. Now, maybe we'll all be dead before this is over. But it won't be because we quit halfway through to hold a coffee clutch. Now, we forget our jobs. You, me, him, the boys outside. And we'll be dead that much sooner. You read me? Yes, sir, I read you. You sure? Yes, sir, I'm sure. Saunders wants you to bring back some TNT, sir. You carry that. I'll take the TNT. Yes, sir. Okay, little John. There's your TNC. How's the platoon making out, Lieutenant? It's tight. I can't spare you a man. Can't battalion send me anything? No, oh, just supply trucks. That's why we need the bridge. Second battalion crossed the river on foot about a mile down. They're hanging on by the skin of their teeth. No supply trucks, no battalion. That's about it. You think setting a pole charge and blasting a door is going to help much? Won't help at all. I have to blast out a whole wall and have to pack TNT right under that foundation. Did I hear this little adventure referred to in the plural, Sergeant? That's right, you and me, Helen. Yeah, well, you're pipe dreaming in waltz time, Sergeant. I told you I can't swim. There's some debris floating down the river. We'll hang on to it and let the car and carry us to the back of the house. Don't you think there's less chance of detection if you uh, go alone? Yeah, maybe, but if one of us gets picked off, the other one could take over. Oh, sure, sure. Anything you say, Sergeant. Only why don't you tell the lieutenant the real reason you want me alone? Why don't you tell me, Heller? All right, I'd be glad to, sir. You see, it's a sucker's move, sir, that's why. Scott's already been turned into hash, and I get under the sergeant's skin. All right, get to the point. Okay. I'm not a company man, lieutenant. I don't sing Yankee Doodle, and I don't love my brothers. The way I see it, I got no chance but to get myself killed in this here war. That's enough. Get back to your post. You need him like you need a rock around your neck. I'll go along. I bury the bayonet. Sure. We'll wait here about five minutes. And get back to Nelson and Johnson. I've got to keep buttoned up for you. Goes. We'll all rush. When the wall goes.
Open fire. Keep it busy.
I hate you guys. I'm just thinking of war. Twelve hundred bucks worth of drums. They'll rust in the attic. It doesn't matter. Nobody's in step anymore anyway. Took the bridge, Helen. Drop dead, Sergeant. The whole thing was just a big, stupid interruption. But you managed to do okay, didn't you? Yeah. I'll probably go to heaven. I hate harps. <laughs> 